Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let me show you how to fix lag and FPS drop in Blue Protocol Star Resonance. Now, now there are a few ways for us to go ahead and improve our FPS and one of them is going ahead and updating our GPU driver. So depending on the GPU brand that you have, it's either NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, make sure to go ahead and visit the official site and then go ahead and download the latest drivers. Now, since I have NVIDIA, I can go ahead and use the NVIDIA app that allows me to identify my current NVIDIA driver and then go ahead and check if I need some updating. So what I can do here is I can go into drivers right here and then as you can see, there is an update available for me to install my latest NVIDIA driver. So I can just go ahead and click on install right here to be able to update my GPU. Another thing that we can go ahead and do is if depending on your GPU, if it's not strong enough, we can just go ahead and lower our ingrain graphics settings. So to do that, what we need to do is to press escape right here. We're going to go into settings and then we're going to be clicking on this picture icon right here, which looks into the graphics section. Now here we can go ahead and take a look at all of the preset graphics quality. So whether it's low, medium, high, max, as well as custom, as you can see, the game has recommended it to be high for me. Now, this really depends on the hardware that you have, but for VSync, usually you'd want to reduce this or turn this off. This would reduce input lag. As for your display resolution, make sure to choose the one that is currently set to your native monitor resolution right here. Or if you want it to be a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and choose that as well. Now for the super resolution, we usually just keep it to DLSS and then we can set our perform our effect settings to performance right here. So this focuses more on being able to ensure that the resolution and the performance of the settings does not affect the lag. There are a few other effects as well here that we can turn off such as reflection which usually uses your your graphics card if you have any RTX you can also remove the glare if you want glow effect you can remove as well and in here you can go ahead and remove as well the special effect settings so you can set some of these to normal to minimum normal and the DMG data display to minimum as well and of course in the FPS you can also set it to a maximum so that say for example you are unable to display up to 120 FPS, you can just tone that down to 60 right here. And then once that you're happy, you just go ahead and click off this. And this will adjust all of the settings that you need in here. Now, another thing that we can do is we can give more system resources to our game by going through the task manager. What we can do is if we click on control, shift and escape, this will open up the task manager right here. And then if we go to the details tab, and then if we look for BPSR EXE right here, which is our game, if we right click on this, we can change set priority to high right here, and then just go ahead and add change priority right here. Do not set this into real time as it may cause instability as well and one last thing is if you are of course running a lot of apps it is better to just go ahead and close all of the background applications so this can be stuff like you know your epic launcher your any adobe or any startup apps that you currently have just go ahead and make sure that they are off so that there will be more resources given to your game and there you go i hope you have found this video helpful See you guys next time.